Welcome back to the Big Five series. We have looked at the squats, the deadlifts, the bench press and the shoulder press and today the last exercise that so far is missing is the bent over barbell row. With all the information that I have given to you in the last few weeks, you now are able to combine all of these Big Five exercises and create the workouts around those Big Five. If you'd like to know how I split my muscle groups and my workouts, um, feel free to download my free training and nutrition plans via the link in the description and look out for the muscle mass routine because that's where I show you specifically on how to divide the big five exercises into several split workouts. The bent over barbell rows are a big part of your upper body workout and pull structure and should never be missed if you want to build up a big muscular and athletic back. When you do bent over barbell rows, a huge amount of muscle is involved in this exercise. The main working muscles are your latissimus dorsi, the rear delts, as well as your biceps. Additional muscles that work when you do the bent over barbell rows, your abdominals the spinal erectors, as well as your glutes, hamstrings and calves. Additionally, when you hold the bar, you work with your forearms. So as you see, these are only a few of all the muscles that have to work hard when you do bent over barbell rows. And therefore, it's a really, really big exercise to include into your workouts. Additionally, the bent over barbell rows are a great support if you want to become very strong in the deadlift and squat. A lot of muscles that you use when you do the bent over barbell rows are the same muscles like when you squat and deadlift. Like I mentioned before, um, your calves, your hamstrings, your glutes and your back muscles. Now that you know how important it is for you to do bent over barbell rows, how often can you actually do them? Well, considering that you use the same muscles or very similar muscles when you squat and deadlift, make sure that you give your body plenty of recovery. You train and stimulate in the gym, but you grow and recover outside the gym. So I recommend you to implement the bent over barbell rows in your back and deadlift session. Therefore, you will have plenty of time to recover from your back and bent over um, workout before you do the squats again. There is great alternatives for the bent over barbell rows. For example, the T-bar rows, the cable rows, one arm bump, dumbbell rows, as well as um, working out your back on a row machine. That could be the case if you have lower back injuries or lower back um, issues. For whatever reasons you cannot do the bent over barbell rows, feel free to comment your questions into the comment boxes below this video and I will help you personally on how to implement other row exercises into your workouts. So let's look at how you perfectly set up your bent over barbell rows. What do you need for your bent over barbell workout? First of all, you need a safe space on the floor where you can place your barbell and nobody can walk into your barbell whilst you do the bent over rows. Second, you need comfortable footwear. Ideally, you wear trainers that kind of like stick on the floor and you're not slipping around and your heels and feet are safely and stable on the ground. Third, clothing. Wear comfortable clothes. I recommend you not to wear a tight t-shirt that kind of cuts into your armpits. Wear something that feels comfortable and light so you can like bend over and feel comfortable to move the bar. Fourth, straps and gloves. I prefer to do the bent over barbell rows just with my bare hands. I have a very gnarly bar so it doesn't really slip out and I feel like I really have the weight under control when I do the bent over barbell rows. Now you could also use gloves. If you do use gloves make sure that you use gloves that go over your wrists. You can like tighten them up and now when you row and you have like pressure and pull on your hands, the gloves don't slip off. If you wear gloves that kind of end just above your wrist on your hand and the bar gets heavy, it's highly likely for the gloves to slip over your hand and you're not in control of the bar anymore. You can also use straps, which are my personal favorites for bent over barbell rows or deadlifts. Last tool that you can make use of is a waist belt. Personally, I don't need it, 
but again for whatever reasons you have lower back issues or you become very strong and you continue to do bent over um, barbell rows the waist belt is a great support for your upper body to stay upright and for your spine to be just a little bit more protected how do you get ready for the bent over barbell rows? I've explained to you several times before, I always warm up thoroughly, which means I start with a couple of sets of back extensions. This um, warms up and activates my hamstrings, my glutes and my spinal erectors. Um, which means these are the same muscles that are now going to work in the bent over and barbell rows and they're already warm and ready to lift more weight. I also add a couple of sets um, of shoulder rotations. I rotate forward and backwards and forth to just make sure I have enough mobility and blood going through my muscles before I start the actual workout. Do a couple of lighter warm-up sets so that your back and spine gets used to the movement, weight and pressure. I recommend a very light set of 4 to 6 repetitions and a slightly heavier warm-up set with 2 to 3 repetitions. Make sure you don't tire your lower back too much when preparing for your main set. How to get into the perfect bent over barbell row position? Stand in front of the bar. Make sure you place your heels in a very similar position as when you deadlift. Heels always on the same height. I use my Centurion Club logo for orientation. Once your feet are in place and the barbell close to your shins, grip the barbell with a grip similar to your deadlift or slightly wider in a supinated hand position. This allows you to row with your elbows close to your body. Once you have placed your hands on the bar, lift the bar off the ground until you are approximately in a 70 degree angle. Make sure you maintain a strong back position and keep the same angle in your hips at all the times. Make sure that your exercise execution is always perfect. If you feel like you have to move up and down with your back to get the weight moving, you use too much weight. Make sure that during the whole um, exercise or the whole movement that your hips are always nice and stable and your back is always in the same angle and is not moving up and down. If you have to do that, you could co cause a lower back um, injury and you put extra stress on your lower back as well as you're not able to control the weight. And in that case, I recommend you to go down in weight to make sure you can perfectly control the movement of the weight. When beginning the pull, think about pulling the elbows up and back while staying stable in your hips. Imagine that you want to squeeze your full upper back and contract your lats into the center of your back until the barbell is fully pulled up to your body. If the weight forces you to drop your chest and your elbows flare out, the weight is too heavy, you can't maintain perfect posture and you should reduce the weight. Make sure your neck is always in the extension of your spine and don't throw your head up and down. Once you have pulled the barbell all the way up to your body, lower it under control, making sure your hips and back stays in the same 70 degrees angle as you have started it. When your arms are fully extended, you then start to row back up again. When you perform the bent over row, make sure you grip the bar at the right width. Too close or too wide will not give you the ideal range of motion. Keep your neck straight in the extension of your spine at all the times. Make sure you never round on your back or drop your chest in order to get the weight up. This could cause an injury. If you can't perform the bent over rows perfectly, drop the weight. Make sure you maintain a 70 degrees angle at all the times. Don't be too upright or too low. Again, this would not give you the ideal range of motion, cause too much pressure in your lower back and won't target your lats ideally. Mm -hmm. Remember, perfect form improves productivity and massively reduces risk. So make sure before you go heavy in the bent over barbell rows that everything is in line. Your foot position, um, your hand position and the angle of your back and hips. Once you're fully into the movement, you can start to slowly increase the weight over a long period of time. 
with everything you have learned from this um, tutorial today as well as the other big five um, videos that I have created for you. You're literally ready to go build a big muscle athletic body and if you still have questions feel free to type in the comment box ask me your question and don't forget to hit the subscription button if you don't want to miss out any future videos.